Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. Uh, this video is about the formal reading of rational numbers. And uh, we begin by talking about how we reference the size of a piece when, uh, when a hole is cut into, into pieces. And uh, in this case, uh, we use ordinals to refer to the size of a fractional section of a hole. Uh, ordinals are readings of numbers uh, as in uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. As an example of this, uh, if, uh, if your denominator is 5, uh, then what that means is that uh, a pi is cut into 5 equal sizes, as you can see in the diagram on the right side. And uh, in this case, uh, we refer to the size of a piece as a fifth. So we refer to this size as a fifth. If the denominator is 8, then the pi is cut into 8 parts. As you can see here in the diagram, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, and uh, in this case, we refer to the size of a piece as an eighth. So you do notice the use of the th at the end of the readings of these, uh, of these values. Now, there are some exceptions. Uh, in case uh, the denominator is 1, then what we really have is, uh, is one whole pi, uh, because the one indicates that there is one piece in the whole, and therefore we are actually referring to the whole. And for that reason, we refer to, uh, to this as a one. And if the denominator is two, we don't use the word second, uh, rather, than, uh, rather we use the word half. So with two, a pi is cut into two parts, and we refer to the size of, of uh, one of these parts as a half. The plural form for half is halves. And so we say one half, but we say five halves. And if the denominator is four, then we refer to the size of a piece. Uh, often we, we refer to the size of a piece as a quarter. Uh, now, fourth can also be used in this case, but quarter is much more common. In case denominator is 100, uh, it's, uh, it's much more common uh, to refer to the size, size of a piece as a hundredth. And in case your denominator is a thousand, we refer to the size of a piece as thousandth. And this pattern continues. Uh, if your denominator is 10,000, then we refer to the, to the size of a piece as a ten thousandth. Okay, uh, now that we know how to uh, reference the size of a piece, we can talk about how we uh, formally read uh, rational numbers. Now, informally, of course, uh, we would read uh, this fraction as 1 over 4, and that's fine. Sometimes when we are doing calculations uh, and we are just uh, trying to quickly talk about what numbers we have, uh, that's how we read them. Uh, but the formal way of reading has its advantages as well. Uh, for example, it, it makes a lot more sense for me to say uh, a quarter of the people voted uh, rather than saying uh, one over four of the people voted. Uh, so in, in this case, and, in, uh, and there are other situations in which uh, the formal reading of a fraction uh, is, uh, is better than, than informal readings of it. Uh, in the case of one over four, uh, what we have is one piece, and that piece has the size of a quarter. So the four down here in the denominator sets the size of a piece. A piece is a fourth, or a quarter. And uh, the top number tells us that we have one of that, uh, that piece. Uh, so we have one quarter. If you have two over four, then you're talking about two pieces, each of which is a quarter and we read this as two quarters. Now you notice uh, the presence of plural s at the end here, but not for one quarter. And the reason is because uh, with one quarter, there is only one piece, uh, very much like you would say one book. Uh, you wouldn't say one box. 
uh, but with two quarters there are two pieces and therefore we use the plural s at the end and uh, so we can talk about uh, three quarters that would be three pieces each of which has the size of a quarter we can talk about four quarters and uh, if we if we look at five over four we talk about uh, here we are talking about five pieces each of which is a quarter and here's a diagram for it so five pieces and each of uh, each of these pieces has the size of a quarter and we read this as five quarters now if you have uh, a negative number such as uh, such as what you see here negative three over four uh, then we refer to this, uh, we basically read, it, read the negative sign as we did with, uh, with uh, integers. Uh, so we read this as negative 3 quarters. And now that we're talking about the formal reading of rational numbers, uh, it may be a good time to also talk about how we formally read mixed numbers. And I'll explain this uh, through examples. Uh, as before, uh, we use the word and to separate the whole part from the fractional part. In this case, the whole part is 2, and the fractional part is 3 tenths. And we read the whole thing as 2 and 3 tenths. And you notice how the word and separates the whole part, 2, from the fractional part, which is 3 tenths. And if a whole number is negative, if a mixed number is negative, then we uh, we proceed the reading of it uh, with the word negative. So we read this as negative two and three tenths. Now, of course, uh, if the positive sign is present, uh, if uh, now it is uh, sort of optional to write the positive, and uh, if somebody does write the positive for some reason, they want to emphasize uh, that they are talking about a positive number. And in that case, uh, if the positive sign is present, it should be read as positive. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching this very short video. Uh, in the next video, I will be talking about uh, ordering uh, rational numbers. And uh, I'll let you go now, and I'll see you then.